Ready, you're going. It came on soon. The radio came on. We're just talking about the radio that we've got that seems to interact with this camera. We may know what frequency this camera runs on now. I never would have thought about that. All right, this is the last bag that we talked about doing here. And, and I'm not even sure where this fits in because this is just another one of those things I carry all the time. It doesn't fit with an inch bag. It doesn't fit with a get-home bag. It doesn't fit with a bug-out bag. Just kind of a little bit of everything rolled into one. This is just something I carry a lot of times when we travel. And I got two or three different things that I'll carry like this, but, but this right here is the most often one that I'll go to. So we'll open it up. Now I cannot even tell you what brand this is. Uh, it's one I actually picked up on sale at a place that was going out of business. And he had it for like 20 bucks, and I said, yeah, so that's worth $20 at least. Got a good shoulder strap, <clears throat> um, carry handle, clips on top, and even a couple of rings for... Is that a re shoulder strap on the back? Yeah, it can be a shoulder strap or, a, or like an over strap, and then you can remove it, unclip it here, and clip it across here so you can carry it this uh -huh, way. Okay. So whichever way, you can carry it like a like a single Briefly, strap pack yeah. or uh, an over-the-shoulder over the carrying under your arm kind of pack either way I've got those other ones that are the big rifle cases the long rifle cases that have the double shoulder mm -hmm. straps that are really cool we'll maybe do a video about that one today so here we go this is this is what I carry my AR in this is my AR there are probably many like it but probably not quite like it but uh, that's what mainly goes in here I got a little cheap red dot side on here that is you know probably about a fifty sixty dollar red dot but it you know anything from here out to way out to under where I can see if I put this on near the round it's going to get where I put it you know I'm not going for deadly accuracy with this this guy right here is just to put multiple rounds on a target in a hurry um, spare magazine got a, got the, the 20 round in it and the 30 round that can go with it as well bandana <laughs> of course <laughs> of course you know, what else have I got in here? I have a staple, which that's not supposed to be in there, so we're getting it out right there. But this opens up this opens up a long way right here. It's got some retention straps in there, and so that works pretty good. Now, for miscellaneous things, we'll just work our way. Let's take a look through these small guys first here. On the small pouches, I have probably going to be mostly magazines and ammo. Um, spare pair of socks, not because of a spare pair of socks, but I can put things in them. Not that it hurts to have a spare pair. So yeah, a couple of boxes of just plain old ball ammo, military grade, uh, 5.56, five, probably 55 grain, yep, 55 grain. More ammo on this side over here. This is the 5.56, five, still this is 62 grain FMJ. So the jacketed rounds right there. These are just the cheapest, easiest ones to keep up with and carry. Center pouch. <clears throat> One extra loaded mag. I guess I could tell a little bit about this rifle. This is this is like bottom of the price scale um, in the AR stuff right here. This is one I actually got from my father-in-law. Uh, for a relatively cheap price, and this is just a, uh, an American Tactical uh, Omni uh, AR, just a plain Jane, pretty much straightforward. This one, I uh, may have 400 bucks in this one right here, <clears throat> plus some cost on magazines. But so we got extra magazine there, and extra P mag. Hadn't even taken it out of the bag yet. Uh, there's a couple of batteries in this for the for the sight, and then um, huh, this is actually some. Uh, <laughs> it's actually some stuff for one of my PTRs, my HK clones. So that doesn't even doesn't even go with anything that's here. It just happens leftovers from something else. So there's that. Now this pocket here. At any given time, oh, should I tell the story? Did I already tell the story about leaving it in the back of the truck? In one of the I other think videos? you did. Yeah, good. So we want to address that again. A pair of gloves, good to have. There's a um, single point sling right here that I can sling up if I don't want the one that's on there right now. Just an option. Toilet paper. Toilet I'm paper. telling you, man, when the poop hits the fan, come see me. I can help you clean it up. Um, this is cool. I'm not even sure. This wouldn't be called a Shema right here. This is, you know, I'm not even sure what this thing is called. It might just be a gun sock or something, but I carry it because it can be used to, you know, to do the basic 
the basic head wrap if you need to and tuck in like that and so if you need something along this line there's two or three different ways to figure it up or to wrap up different things so probably this probably the reason this is in there is I just it didn't have a home anywhere else and so I adopted it and put it in here and then I got a basic European grade um, bayonet type knife that probably needs to be sharpened up a little bit I've got my whetstone out so I might do that and this is one of the cool kinds that you can rig up and and uh, make a wire cutter out of so I hadn't had to do that very often but it's just a handy very utilitarian type knife nothing special but it was a gift from a friend of mine so it's got sentimental value even if it was absolutely no good I'd still probably hang on to it and use it just because it was a gift so that's what's in this bag that was pretty short and sweet but pretty no big deal I need to, I need to go find that permanent mark we have while I go and mark my gloves put my put my symbol on them so that's what's in this bag this is probably, where was this one? It's in here and in the other one. In the big one. The big one? Back in the big one it goes. So, there we go. That's what's in that one. Um, I'm thinking maybe later I might do, can you cue in? Not very good from this angle. I was going to see if you could cue in on the fire, the, the fire tools over there. My campfire tools. Because everybody likes metal working and blacksmith. And uh, we might try to do a little short video on those at some point. It'd be a pretty quick and easy one. How long are we on this one? This one's about seven minutes. Seven minutes. That's good. Short and sweet. I like it. All right. Thanks, y'all.